fans have criticized the way Meghan Markle introduced Prince Harry at the opening ceremony of the Invictus Games. Meghan Markle publicly declared her love for her incredible husband Harry in front of an audience of thousands as she introduced the Duke of Sussex in The Hague, Netherlands, the Duchess said she could not love and respect him more. The pair kissed when Harry arrived on stage, and he appeared emotional before his speech, saying, thank you my love. But Meghan's introduction of Harry has since been criticized by royals fans. Meghan said, it is my distinguished honor to introduce someone that I think you all will be very excited to hear from. He has also spent many late nights and early mornings planning for these games to make them as perfect as possible for each of you. I could not love and respect him more and I know that all of you feel the same because he is your fellow veteran having served two tours of duty in Afghanistan and ten years of military service. He's the founder of the Invictus Games and the father to our two little ones, Archie and Lily. Please welcome my incredible husband, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Twitter user Judy Moody reacted with fury to the introduction, she wrote, thought it was just Harry. Prince Harry will suffice. She's obsessed with those damn titles. While Bailey added, they found out that Just Call Me Harry does not sell but my husband, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex and hi, I'm Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex does. Shows that they're without titles, their worth decreases and they and their corporate bosses know it. Joe Baronti added, think I'd probably have said my husband Harry not all those titles, but then maybe that's what she calls him at home. Gunzel Gunla said, Meghan praises Harry during her introduction, and not a word about the wounded veterans. Of course, she introduced him as Prince and Duke of Sussex, enjoying the titles. Harry asked to be called just Harry ahead of a travelist event in Scotland in 2020. Host and former Labour advisor and broadcaster Aisha Hazarika told delegates, he's made it clear that we are all just to call him Harry. So ladies and gentlemen, please give a big, warm, Scottish welcome to Harry. It marked the royal's final speech before stepping down from royal duties in March 2020. Meghan Markle's going back to her Hollywood roots. While in the Netherlands for the 2022 Invictus Games on Sunday, the Duchess of Sussex delighted fashion fans by choosing a white laser-cut Valentino mini-dress, $6,000, sleek side parted curls and red lipstick for a reception. Many on social media seemed disgusting to see Markle, who joined Prince Harry in stepping down from royal duties in 2020, returning to the bolder beauty and fashion looks she once favored. A declared her look Hollywood cheap and very reminiscent of her suits, sick, days, while a similarly enthused, this look gives me pre-Harry, red carpet vibes. Indeed, Markle only sported a scarlet lip twice during her time as a working royal, once for the premiere of Cirque du Soleil's Totem Show in 2019, and again at the 2020 Endeavour Fund Awards, one of her and Prince Harry's final official appearances as members of the monarchy. We've seen her in the past in red lips and now we don't. She's wearing that light, neutral pink that is favored in the palaces and other royals, royal etiquette expert Micah Maya told Elle in 2019, shortly after the Duchess Cirque du Soleil outing. But while more neutral beauty hues might be customary, Maya added, crimson lips break royal protocol.